Hey guys, Mini Gazelle back with more Let's Play Custom Robo. We're in part number four. Last we left off, we woke up and Harry had a interesting phone call for us. Um, basically, we were wanted down at this location where there's some stuff going down, and the boss wants to kind of redeem himself after that embarrassing situation with him and the poetry. So he's gonna be there, and uh, yeah, let's go check out and see what it's all about. God, you scared me. What happened? You woke up on your own? No, no, Harry called me. I've got work to do. Oh, and I was so proud of you having woken yourself up for once. But you didn't. Oh well. Uh, yeah, right. Look, I have to go. I have to get to the Damon Chinese restaurant. Oh, Damon? That place is the best. The owner's a great chef. His name is Dendai Don. Tell him I sent you. That's kind of a cool name. Dendai Don. He can make anything. Ramen? Gyoza? Or is it called Giza? <clears throat> I don't know. One of the one of the two. Fried rice, sour pork, egg and mayonnaise. Egg and mayonnaise pizza. That sounds disgusting. Oh, it sounds delicious. <laughs> Way to contradict me there, lady. I'm making myself hungry. So, where's Damon? You don't know? Just go north and a little east. Okay. You're in a rush to get to Damon. Don't you think you should get moving then? How about you worry about your own, you know, your shit lady? You know, let me, let me do my thing. Let me live my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's cool. Um, so north, a little east. Gee, I wonder where the Chinese restaurant is. Hmm. Oh, probably right here. <laughs> oh my God. What happened here? How could this have happened? It's terrible. Oh my, did someone like get murdered? You're late. Things have gotten pretty bad here. No answer. It just says body. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Gazelle, you're here. We were too late, it seems. Poor guy. He was dead before we arrived. Looks like a mental shock. M looks like mental shock must have killed him. You can take real physical damage in a robo battle. But it takes a tremendous amount of stress to actually kill someone. Wow, this game got heavy fast. Like, it, it was all fun and games before, and now it's, it's like someone actually died. I don't remember death in this game. I go to all the trouble of coming here in person, and this is what I get? I, it was already too late when we arrived. Harry, what are you doing here? We got a call, but it came too late. Whatever happened, it was over before we got here. Bounty hunters, bah. We've got it from here, so why don't you all beat it? Say what? We've got a job to do, and you bounty hunters aren't part of it. Oh, is that so? Sure, you show up for these cases, but for the small ones, you don't even bother. That's easy for you to say. You bounty hunters are free to pick your missions, but we police have far more responsibility. Where's the law when regular average folks need it, huh? Can't be bothered, is that it? You're not looking you're not looking after the people who need you. Why do I even waste my time on a waster like you? You're nothing like your sister. You leave it, Harry. It's out of our hands now. Harry, let's go. Come on, Gazelle. Wait, you got a minute? Roy, according to the witness, the victim was fighting some sort of autom autonomous robo. What did you say? And when it killed the victim, it fled the scene. Uh... An autonomous robo? You don't know anything, do you? I'm really starting to worry if you've got the chops to be a commander. An autonomous robo moves itself without having any commander dive into it. They were designed for manual and repetitive labor. Never, I've never heard of one that fights, though. Which is why I have to ask you for a favor, Marcia. I need your help. What? Me? You know what I'm you know what I'm going to ask you. I need you to do a half dive and read the victim's last thoughts. <clears throat> what? Please, I'm begging you. With your power, we should be able to find some clue we can use. But but I Hey, Roy, ask her to help. What? Why should I have to beg this mercenary nobody to help us in our investigation? An excellent point, and well made. But if, for example, you had even a fraction of her skill and power, you wouldn't have to. 
So swallow your foolish pride and do it. Maria's cool. Or not, oh, not Maria, but whatever this girl's name is, I forgot. But, but I, uh, Marcia, please. Marcia is her name. That's what it is. Oh, wait, no. That's Marcia. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. The, the, the two girls. I, I. You call that asking a respected fellow law enforcer for help? Say it like you mean it. What? <laughs> Shut it, Harry. <laughs> Shut it, Harry. Oh, crap. I didn't read what he said. Why does it skip sometimes like that? I don't know, Ernest. I haven't done a half dive in so long. I'm not even sure I, still, I can still. I'm not sure I'm following this, but I don't think Marcia can help out here. I know, but we need her help. There's no one else we can we can turn to. Marcia, we understand if you can't do it, and we won't blame you if you fail. Please help us. I... Alright, let me concentrate. Uh... Just watch. It's Marcia's special power. Remember what I told you a while back? Marcia had the special power since she was young. Marcia can dive into a robo that's already been registered by eye contact. It doesn't mean she can control a pre-registered robo, though. However, she is able to read the commander's remaining cognition. So whatever the commander saw through his robo's, robo's eyes, she sees. She can even read that guy's last thoughts. Kinda gruesome, huh? Yeah, I'd say so. Only thing is, when she does this, I'm starting. Uh, Marcia? What's wrong? What happened? Gazelle, calm down. I'll explain later. Marcia, how'd it go? What did you find? Uh, the victim wasn't fighting a custom robo. What do you mean? It didn't look like a robo. I've never seen anything like it. It was like a living thing. That's ridiculous. No living thing can enter a Holoceum. You're right. It's just not possible. But everything about it is different. It doesn't move like a robot. It doesn't even look like one. Did you see what it was? Only vaguely. It's just... I've heard enough. There's no way that could happen. Shut up, Roy. Marcia, what? Just what? I've never felt such... overwhelming power. Come with us to HQ. We'll want to make a composite sketch of the robo you saw. Hey, whoa there! Look at her. Marcia's in bad shape. The stress of the half dive is getting to her. Now you see what she has to go through every time she does this. We're... Sorry about that, but as a citizen, she must comply with any and all police squad orders. Roy, we're asking for their cooperation, not their resentment. Be civil. I... forgive me. As if. Look at you, barking like a dog, but still taking orders from my own sister, loser. Harry, you're out of line. Thank you for your hard work, Marcia. You must, you must understand that this is extremely important, and we desperately need your help. I know you're feeling a little weak, but we won't ask you to do anything strenuous, I promise. So please, would you come with us to Police HQ and tell us more about what you saw? What? To Police HQ? Marcia, you alright? You can rest up if you're not feeling up to it. No, I'll go. I want to go. I'm, I'm fine. Just don't, over, don't overexert yourself. We'll wait for you back at the office. Well, Mira, take care of Marcia. Hey, Harry, Gazelle, let's go. What a wild situation. Murder, diving into someone's last thoughts in their life. Like, that's that's kind of wild. This game is it, it takes itself lightly at times, and seriously other times. Like, an interesting combination for sure. What's taking Marcia so long? I wonder if she's okay. Marcia will be fine. She got a strong will. She's not like you. <laughs> she's not like you. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> but how come Marcia was so willing to help those cops? I mean, she hardly argued at all. 
Say, Harry, what's so special about a half dive? Why can't any anyone else do one? I don't know much about it. It's a rare talent. I've never met anyone else who can do a half dive. Really? But there might be others? I've never heard I've never even heard about half dives before now. Well, according to my sis, Marcia is the only commander alive today who can do a half dive. Wow, she's pretty extraordinary, isn't she? Well, she's something alright, but it doesn't sound all that great. Her power makes her extremely sensitive, emotionally speaking, I mean. How so? For example, you ever have times where there's something on your mind? Don't don't you get worried? Well, in Marcia's case, take those worries and multiply them by a hundred. She gets so stressed out, she just freezes. That's pretty sensitive. Yeah, she's been like that since she was a child. That's why she seems so distant. She needs the distance to keep from getting hurt by people. See, it's like this. Marcia's big brother always used to protect her. That's rough, being that sensitive and losing both your parents and your brother. Yeah, she really ain't. She really sort of hit rock bottom. It took a lot of work for Marcia to get where she is now. Hey, that's enough out of you. If I even catch you guys treating her differently because of this, I'll whoop you both good. <laughs> oh, Ernest. You got a heart of gold deep down. You're, you write poetry, you're kind to your uh, employees, even though you're kind of strange sometimes. You're a good guy. It's the phone. Maybe it's Marcia. Steel hearts. Your squeal. What you squeal will deal. This is <laughs> Ernest. Alright. Ah, bogey. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I knew he was a wanted man. I uh, forgot about my robo. That's why I couldn't catch him on the spot. What? Oh, I get it. You gave Dark Blue the job yesterday, so now you're handing d uh, one down to us today? Thank you. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I'm a very loyal customer. Your cafe has great at atmosphere. Oh, you're starting a poetry slam night? Or uh, what makes you think I write poetry? Oh, you saw that. Well, I'll send the boys over right now. Alright, we've got work. Get over to Bogies pronto. Seems like there's some guy making a killing on battle wagers. Bogie says the guy is incredibly strong and he's going to put Bogie out of business if this keeps up. Huh? You're not coming, Ernest? I don't think so. I feel bad. I feel like bad luck right now, especially after seeing that guy, is, that guy at Dendai Don's. Besides, I've got some light fi filing to do around the office. Uh, yeah, sure. Hurry up. I'll send Marcia over when she returns. Yeah, about time. I kind of want to see what this guy who's mopping the floor at Bogies is. I kind of want like a real challenge in this game. Obviously, I've lost before, but that was because I was experimenting with different, like, robos and stuff, so... We'll see how this goes. Thanks for the call, Bogey. Steel hearts at your service. Well, hello! I've been waiting for you, Harry, and you too, Gazelle. Oh, great. Not you again. Why are you here? Me? Oh, I'm sure it's a mere coincidence. We thought we could use some nice tea after all our hard work, and we found a man in need. We would have resolved the situation right away, but... Bogey insisted that we give you Steelheart's fellows a fair shot. And fair's fair, of course, so we're waiting until you screw up before we take over. Fair's fair. Bogey called us, not you. This is our job. Oh, please, Harry. Are you even listening? We're mercenaries. The job goes to the fastest team. But we're a generous group. We dark blue mercenaries. We'll fight for it. How about a two-on-two -two battle? <coughs> fight for what? It's our job. You're just trying to steal it from under our feet. Now that's rude. We thought we'd show some courtesy by waiting for you to arrive. You ought to be grateful. This will be a golden learning opportunity for you. Pay attention while I'm beating you down. Oh, <laughs> this guy's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Hey, Gazelle, we've got to rip them apart. I'm afraid our victory is already secure. The actual fight itself is a mere formality, but if you wish. Sorry, Bogey, but we've got a score to settle here. Just wait a sec, okay? I don't care, just so long as someone takes care of my problem, alright? Let me... Uh, a little more about two on two. Your partner's gunshots and charges won't hurt you. However, you still take damage if you get hit by your partner's pod or bomb blasts. Got it? 
Yeah, I got it. Okay, full throttle. Let's rip him to shreds. Alright, I can't wait to fight this punk. I gotta see what kind of layout he's got. I, I can only assume the left one is his. It looks a lot like his character. Let's take a glance. Oh, I can see my partner data, too. He's got the dolphin. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Arc toward target. Can deploy two pods at one time. Uh, see, that's kind of cool. I kind of want the dolphin. That seems pretty sweet. The rest seems kind of standard. Opponent data. Alright, let's check out the main guy. Let's check out evils. Um, juggler body. Info. A trick flyer, very agile, extremely slow on the ground, can perform up to three short range but elaborate air dashes. Uh, collision rises diagonally. Okay, nothing too crazy about the body. Uh, right pulse, fires eight rounds at start right, then turn left. Interesting. Start right, then turn left. Fire, firing in direction or verses when the shot from the air. Range is medium. Since the rounds bend, hide behind a wall and fire. Okay, so he's gonna take a lot of he's gonna take cover and fire behind the walls. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, left flank H, launches left and turns right. Okay, so that's the opposite of the one I just read. Uh, let's see. The direction of the bomb changes when launched from the air. Adjust your foe's movement. Okay, so this guy's kind of a tricky, tricky guy. His, his bullets kind of go everywhere. Um, two pods at once. Blast slingers for a while. All right, so pretty standard. Pod just kind of fast, and then all right, that guy's pretty. He's like a tricky, tricky player. That's that's fine. We can take care of that. Metal Ox. It's a grappler. Strong offense and defense. Poor mobility. Uh, makes dodging difficult. Can only air dash once. Okay, uh, not too bad. Gatling gun. We've seen that before. The sub uh, submarine D. Slowly travels ahead. Launches one bomb at a time. Blast slingers for a while. Blows target. Okay, pretty standard bomb. Uh, let's see, stops in front of his target. Okay, pretty simple as well. Quick jump. All right, nothing too crazy. Let's get into the battle. Ooh, this arena is kind of interesting. I do like the arena designs in this game. They've been pretty, pretty interesting so far. I will not lie. I think Harry's the green ones. Hopefully. All right, Harry, get up. We got a battle on our hands. Oh, wait, no, that's not Harry. Harry is the blue one. How do I change targets again? Is it Y? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna take down this gorilla guy first. The other, the other guy seems easier, honestly. He's already at half health, so. Actually, no, wait, no. Why would I? Not, why would I not go after the easier one first? Let's take out this. Let's take out evil. He seems pretty poopy. Oh, those are my spider ones. Sweet. Okay, yeah, I forgot I equipped these spider uh, pods, so they actually go after the opponent to see them. For some reason, it didn't go after the other guy, though. And maybe it has to be directly in front of him. Be an interesting thing. He's almost dead. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, Harry, we got one guy left. This guy shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I can drop three of those at once. Sweet. I do think it's kind of odd they're not, like, always going after them, though. I think the range might be kind of small. Oh, well, anyway, we're, we pretty much already won. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too bad at all. The two-on-two -two fights are definitely more interesting. Uh, I don't know which one I like more, though. The one-on-ones are also really fun. I now have access to the left, left flank bomb H. Uh, faint pod. Okay, I didn't really think his guns were that great, so I probably won't switch to those. Ha ha ha, extraordinary, uh, exhilarating. How... How best to measure one's skill and to permit him a victory. And did you learn something too? Well, I certainly hope you succeed in this mission. You look like you're in need of a less shabby wardrobe. Whoa. Did you guys see that face? I think I accidentally skipped a, a scene of dialogue there. That was creepy. 
The clothes make the man, after all. Shall we go? Oh, yeah. yeah we'll get out of here. Mop the floor with you. That jerk can't even own up to the fact that we beat him. Anyway, that was a nice little waste of our time. Now we better get back to work. Woo, okay, Bogey. Where can we find this guy you're after? Past that door there. Door? I don't see a door. Oh, uh, that's a false wall. There's a door behind... There's a door hidden there. We hold Robo Battles in the back room. Anyway, this guy's been winning every match, and I'm losing money. Hold on, did you just say you're hosting a gambling matches? That's illegal, man. <laughs> er, well, I mean, what is illegal anyway? I mean, it's such a vague term, you know? I get it. That's why you called us instead of the cops. You didn't want to get busted. Maybe when you're older, you'll understand. Listen, don't tell anyone, okay? Harry can't keep a secret. <laughs> hey, what's all that about? You're trying to ruin my reputation as a fine, upstanding citizen? Why would I say anything? It's not like I'm really, I'm real friendly with the cops. I mean, except for my sister. Well, I'd appreciate your discretion. Anyway, get in there and talk to the waiter. I'm really counting on you there. Okay, now we can actually see what... I feel like this guy's going to be more difficult than evil was. Evil was not hard at all. We should chat up the crowd before, uh, for some info before we sign up. Cool, it's kind of an interesting area. Man. <laughs> I'm guessing that, that has to be the guy. Look at this whole room of people. Except for maybe this guy. And who would you think the guy is that's been destroying everyone? The quiet guy who's entitled man who doesn't say anything. He's got like a creepy face. Definitely him. Customer, if you enter the battle tournament, you can win it big, but you can get a pretty you can get pretty badly hurt too. Look at that goatee that guy had. This guy's got the same goatee. Are they all twins? Shiner's been winning all the matches, so it's no fun to bet. That's why it's slow today. These are all like related. They all Today just ain't my day. I barely break even if I bet on Shiner, and he's the odds on favorite. But nobody's gonna beat Shiner. There's no point in betting on anyone else. Bet on me, you, you triplets over there. Make that quadruplets. I keep betting on the underdog, but Shiner keeps beating them. I'll never break even now. I keep betting on the underdog. Wait, I wrote the same person? That guy over there hasn't placed one bet, and he's just sitting there watching the battles. What's he even doing here? Okay, so maybe he's not actually playing. Maybe Shiner's over here. I'm entering the next tournament. I'll probably bump into one of you, depending on how they mix up the entries. Pardon me, but are you the one who's been winning all the matches? You got the wrong person, buddy. You want to talk to Shiner. He's in the waiting room right now with the other combatants. Oh, okay. Do I sign up here, I guess? You must be Harry and Gazelle. Bogey told me you'd, you'd be coming. We're hosting a battle tournament with 16 commanders. I was just making the entry list for the next tournament. I'm determining your entry position now. Hold on a moment. Cool, we're gonna do a tournament. I'm down. It's pretty sweet. Thank you for waiting. Harry is number 16 and Gazelle is number nine. Which one's been winning all the matches? That would be Shiner, entry number one. I see, he's number one. I'm number 16 and Gazelle's number nine. Dang, according to this, we won't get a chance to face him until the finals. And that means that Gazelle and I have to fight have to fight each other in the semifinals. Can't we change? Sorry, everything's done by computers. It's totally random. I can't change your numbers for you. If I start messing around with numbers, the guests will, will think I'm fixing the matches. But I thought Bogey set this up for us. Aw, oh, man. Well, I guess we'll just have to win for your, win your tournament. Please wait here. I'll call you when it's your turn. Do I literally just wait here? Do I just stand around? Okay. What an odd thing. I guess I'll just try talking to people. Let me go talk to the man. Man says nothing again. Are you ready? Oh, I have to talk to him. I'm ready, yeah. I don't have any parts to really equip. I don't really like the ones I just got from that last fight. Good, then we'll begin. 
All right, guys, time to beat up some jabronis. Oh, there's a there's a police squad guy in here. Wow, this guy's doing a terrible job as a policeman. He's fighting in an underground fighting tournament illegally. Gazelle versus Polly. Go for it, Gazelle. Don't worry, I've got tons of advice to get you through this. Whoa, hang on a sec. Two against one? That's not fair. They should be disqualified. Oh, and by default. Hey, chill. I'm not fighting. I'm just what? Hang on. Aren't you a cop? <laughs> That's what I was saying. What an upright member of the police squad. What's an um, upright member of the police squad like yourself doing in a place like this? Shh, not so loud. How could you tell? Doesn't he know he's wearing his uniform? Wait a minute. You're those guys who busted the lab burglary. You must have recognized my distinctive features. Oh, it's that guy. I, I kind of remember that guy. He had that expression. He was the guy. I think he was the guy who was like, will my insurance cover this? He had that same expression. Oh, I love Polly. Oh, this is great. More like your distinctive uniform. You cops all look the same to me. So wait, that means you're uh, you're one of those guys the burglars beat up, and you're one of the guys who shuts up. <laughs> and sh yeah, that is him. It is the insurance guy. Insurance didn't cover any of my bills, so I'm trying to make some scratch on the side. Okay. Listen, guys. I'm sure. <laughs> Listen, guys. I'm sure you got lots to catch up on, but we're trying to hold a tournament here. I'm gonna do better this time. This time, I'm in it for the money. <laughs> Gosh, Polly is the coolest police officer in the force for sure. Yeah, whatever you say, sport. Okay, my advice for you is to beat this guy up, but good. This guy's using a Strike Vanisher model, let me explain. Like the Shining Fighter, the Strike Vanisher model's abilities are well balanced, but the biggest difference is that it has a stealth function built into it. Stealth function. If you do an air dash, this function will make your robot disappear dodging incoming gunfire, but compared to the Shining Fighter model, it moves slowly. If you're going to use a Strike Vanisher, take advantage of its stealth ability to dodge gunfire. Got it? Yeah, sure. One more thing, there's a Holoceum called the Diamond Cell that the police squad uses. There's a Magma Zone in the Holoceum, so be careful. Magma Zone. Yeah, it's the red area, you'll take a lot of damage if you go into the area. Good. How's that for irony though? You're not a crook, but you're fighting a cop. Comedy. Alright, let's go, Polly. I respect you as a cop, you're hilarious, so. Alright, got a kind of cool looking robo too. Respect that. Check him out. Javelin. Yeah, he already explained all that to us. Gatling, pretty straightforward. Straight S. Uh, stuns them. Satellite. Hangs in the air once deployed, then homes in when a target approaches. Can deploy three pods. That's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool one. So it's like kind of sentry mines. I, I do like that. Uh, and the standard legs. Okay. Not a very hard, not a very difficult model, really. We'll see how that vanishing thing comes into play, but... And those are the magma zones you're talking about. Let's avoid those. Come on, Polly. Put up a better fight than that. Oh, he does it does kind of like warp though. That is that is kind of cool. You guys saw that, right? Like, you, when you zip through the air. I, okay, I probably want to switch from the spider models. Cause, because, uh, they don't have very good range. And I kind of like using the pods for range attacks, so. Okay, I, those satellite ones are kind of freaking me out. Get him, Spider. Come on. There we go. Once they see him, though, the spiders do kind of go after him pretty well. I do like that. There we go. Probably put up a decent fight for a while, but just dodge him and you're fine. <clears throat> you now have access to the Javelin. Ooh. Cool. I can now use that if I want to. I probably won't though. I do think I'll switch out my pods though. 
Why couldn't I have drawn an easier first match? So much for paying my bills. With skills like those, how do you ever get to be a cop? Ah, uh, sorry, Polly. <clears throat> Tough break. Got the javelin. Left flank. Faint pod. I guess I'll check out the faint pod since I'm switching the pod anyway. Hmm. Scatter pods left and right to block your opponent's way. Uh, I'm probably going to go to. Let's see. I think I might do the twin flank. I kind of like that as a rushing one. The rest are all good. I can probably uh, let's change the color up too. Why not? Uh, how do I change? Oh, there we go. Kind of feeling blue. Not not I'm sad, but feeling blue isn't the color. All right. I won my first match too, like there was ever any doubt. Why don't you go to the parts generator? I already did. Um, do I talk to this guy to continue? The second match is about to start. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright guys, let's go. I like I like tournaments. I like tournaments in anime. I like tournaments in games. They're always fun. Oh my god, it's freaking Walt. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's continue. The next match is Gazelle versus Walt. I won my first match too. Shiner won his match too, of course. Don't let your guard down. Your next opponent is... Let's have a clean fight. Huh? Isn't that the guy who got in a fight with his wife? Thank you for helping us the other day. What are you doing in a seedy place like this? Well, it's like this. My wife handles all of our money, and I don't get much allowance. So I figured this would be a good way to make some extra money. That's gotta be tough. You better believe it. By the way, I have a favor to ask. Could you take it easy on me, you know, so I could win? No can do. Sorry, but we got our reasons. Please, I'm begging here. My wife and poor children are starving. We need this to live. Oh, what a pile of lies. You just said you wanted the money for yourself, you jerk. Oh, not again. <laughs> this guy, this waiter guy, like every person he that we go against, we have like a background history with them, so it's funny. Oh, not again. Listen, you really need to get on with your battles, people. I beg of you, please, won't you help me? Nope. I think we're going to fire when you're using the pod. Yeah. I don't really need this advice from, uh... Yeah, I could I should have put the Z's option, but he would have repeated himself. Okay, don't go easy on him just because he's your neighbor. No, Walt's going to get destroyed. I took... If I took him and his wife down, I, I can take down Walt, no problem. Oh, yeah, this guy had a pretty crappy robot last I checked. Let's see if he even changed it. Oh, a five-way... Fires five rounds that spread to the right side. The rounds turn into the opposite direction when fired from air. And Crescent P. Okay, it's nothing really too crazy. He has a new five-way gun, but if I remember, that gun's pretty bad. I mean, it's not like... I mean, it's more so It's more so meant for like 2v2 fights, if I remember. So it's kind of a cool battlefield. Nice snow. Snow effect, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I definitely like the dual pods. I just like the I just like how they kind of rush. They get in there fast. I don't really even I don't even need them to like hone in the, on the opponent. Um, just kind of go after him. Whoa. Okay. I will say his bullets do travel fast on that gun. I will give him credit. Oh, the ice is. The terrain's interesting. Uh, the snow, you run fast, but the, the ice you slip on, that's kind of cool. Yeah, his bullets travel super fast. Yeah, his uh, his robot's pretty tanky, but uh, we're, we're going to win this fight, no problem. There we go. Until I get the more better weapons of the game, I'm going to stick to the strategy of kind of non-stop barrage attacks with my three-way gun and my pods. 
I have no access to the gun. I'm probably going to pass on using it, though. I do kind of prefer the three. I don't know why. Oh, oh I'll never afford that lovely toupee now. Aw, oh, that sucks. So that's what he was after. Dr. Harry? I won the second match, but so did Shiner. Semifinals are up next. Your, your next opponent is me. How about paying the parts generator a visit? Yeah, I'm good. Talk to Man again, see he's still just nothing. Okay. All right, well, let's dive into our fight with Harry, I guess. Semifinals are about to start. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's start. Good, then let's, let's start. <laughs> How many times do they want to say start? At long last, it's up for the semi it's it's time for the semifinals. Up next, Gazelle versus Harry. It doesn't really matter which of us gets to the finals, so let's just make this for real. It'll be a good practice. We'll get a lot of opportunities to really go at it, you know? It'll be exciting. <clears throat> Excuse me, I hate to interrupt, but could you start hurting each other now? <laughs> that's look look at his face and look what he just said. Like that's so creepy. Excuse me. I hate to interrupt, but could you start hurting each other now? Yeah, yeah, let's start, Gazelle. He's still a novice, so I'll give you just a bit more advice. The higher you jump, the more vulnerable you become. Same goes for an air dash. You'll be vulnerable, blah, blah, blah. Harry, I don't need your stinking advice. You're going to get walloped here. All right? Okay, then. Let's go at it for real. You better not take it easy on me. I wonder if I actually lost this, if the story would continue. You know, normally you would say like failure and you'd have to like redo it. But I do wonder, I do kind of wonder if uh, this is, this would be an exception. Uh, still has the vertical gun, standard S, cockroach. Okay, so he hasn't really changed his stuff since the last time we saw it. It'd be very disgraceful if I lost to Harry though. Harry being Harry and all. I do, I do like this arena, though. This one's pretty sweet. Oh, I forgot how to air dash. How do I do that? Oh, there we go. X. What if I go this whole fight without him touching me? That'd be kind of crazy. Nah, he hit me. Oh, whew. A little barrage on me there. I like how he gave me advice of jumping in the air makes you vulnerable. Proceeds to jump in the air as he's getting walloped. Like, you think he'd like go the opposite way behind cover or something, but... <laughs> Did you see him try to run on against the treadmill? Here, are you dummy. Let's finish this. Bye bye, Harry. Looks like I'm fighting Shiner. Wow, Harry really didn't even put up a fight. Access to the Caboose Pod C. Ooh. I'll check that out. That sounds kind of interesting. Man, I didn't think you'd be so good. I've trained, I've trained you well. Well, I know I told you not to hold back, but I didn't feel right going full strength on you. Heh. <laughs> Oh, damn it, I didn't read it. Ugh, sorry, I keep clicking through some of this stuff on accident. Uh, I got the five-way gun. Caboose, I kind of want to see what that is. That sounds interesting. Uh, customize Robo. Pods are the one thing so far that I've been switching out a lot. Because they're really interesting, honestly. They kind of vary a lot. Uh, fires in the opposite direction of where you aim. Can deploy two pods at one time. Blah. Why would it? Why would I want it to go the opposite where I aim? Use it to cover your escape while retreating. Oh, see, I don't. I don't retreat. That's not my style. I'm more of an all-out attack kind of guy. Looks like Shiner made it to the finals after all. I thought I'd give you some last-minute training. That's why I lost. <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble, so you better win. 
You should use the parts generator while you have the chance. Yeah, I already did. Alright, let's see what Shiner's all about. Let's start the finals. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Excellent. I'll call your opponent. Let's see the Shiner. This... Okay, this buffoon is Shiner. At last, we're at the finals. Has everyone placed their bets? Then let's begin. It's time for the finals. The ultimate showdown between Shiner and our newest star, Gazelle. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna give this guy a cool name. Doesn't matter what you do. Everyone will bet on me. I'm the best. No one wants to throw away this money. I'm an obvious loser. And you know what? I don't care about all that. Whether these losers make this place a profit. As long as I'm making money and the masses go weak at the knees, when they see me, I'm happy. So tell me, are you jealous of my skill? Do you hate me? Eh, what do you say? Sorry, what was that? We were busy polishing our robo cubes. What is wrong with this guy? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, we know. Don't want to keep you waiting. Keep him waiting. All right, Gazelle, chew him up. That's a laugh. I'm the one who's going to eat him alive. I'll show you the power of Breaker, my lightning sky robo. I'm, I'm making this guy annoying on purpose. So, lightning sky. The lightning sky model is the newest addition to the custom robo line. It can attack and change directions while doing an air dash. It can attack and change directions while doing an air dash. Okay, so like mid dash you can, okay. It can only air dash once, but it travels for a long time. It almost looks like it's flying. However, it moves really slowly on the ground. It's got a low defense, and that's its weakness. Got it? Yeah, sure. Low defense. Anything that's low defense against me, they're in for a world of hurt, because I'm a great attacker. Looks like, like it'll be an interesting match. Well, good luck. Alright, let's beat this stupid Shiner guy. Whoa, okay. His, okay, that's cool looking, though. It's got a crocodile face. Let's check it out. That is that is a pretty cool looking thing though. Yeah, we already covered the body. Flame. Fire six rounds. Aerial and ground shots are the same. Range medium. Since its power increases over distance, stay as far away as possible when shooting. Okay, so keep my distance. Straight G. <laughs> straight G. It's a straight G. Flies quickly straight ahead. Launches one bomb at a time. Blows them upward. Okay, so it's kind of a close range thing, it seems. Uh, like a boost pod, we've already covered that. Long thrust, okay. Not too bad, so just kind of keep my distance, because a lot of his stuff seems to be close range. Which is odd, because he has a low defense. So that seems like a bad combination, but what am I to judge my opponent? I just whoop them, that's all I do. Uh, of course he fires right next to me. And then he's gonna get up before me. That's dumb. Whoa, okay. Credit where credit is due. That flame attack is kinda cool looking. And has a lot of range, surprisingly. Even though it said it didn't. Whoa, he... It literally is flying. That is kind of wild. Look at that. I mean, I don't. I personally wouldn't like that style. Oh my god. He, okay, that's kind of OP. He can, he's like a fighter jet. No, screw it. I'm not going to worry about getting... Uh, going, staying far away. This guy wants to freaking do that. I'm going to rush him. According to Harry, if you're in the air, that's a bad thing to be. That's a bad place to be. Yes. Come on, Shiner. Why are you running away, boy? You got all these close range weapons. Yeah. Get destroyed. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll admit, it kind of threw me off at the beginning. I was getting walloped on this guy's moveset, but uh, I have access to the flame gun. Ooh, that's something that's kind of intriguing to me. I might have to use that. I wonder how he's going to respond to us beating him. 
blast. Oh well, I've done my job here. What's this idiot talking about? Hmm? Wait a sec, is this guy from Z? Huh? You mean the Z Syndicate? Well, duh, didn't you notice the big Z on his collar? Well, bi big surprise, but that's the Z... That's the Z Syndicate's logo. My sis showed it to me once. Z Syndicate? What's that? Nobody's really sure. I mean, other than that it's some kind of... Er, Syndicate. Real helpful, pal, but he's right. No one really knows what Z stands for. How's, how's that for mysterious? You never heard of them? Nobody knows where they're based, who runs them, or what the Z stands for. The only thing we know is that they're planning something with their custom robo. This is the first time I've ever seen one of them, but... Why are they wasting their time in these gambling pits? Maybe we should just ask this joker here. So, are you with Z or what? I... I don't know anything. Oh man, could you be any more suspicious? <laughs> what? You got any proof? You want proof? Explain those clothes. You're wearing a Z right there on your shirt. Er, that's not a Z. It's a weird looking tube. <laughs> you think I'm gonna believe that? And the power is going out, looks like. What? What's going on? The lights. Hey, Gazelle, don't let him get away. How am I supposed to stop him? I can't see a thing. <laughs> <coughs> Ah, darn it, he got away. Oh, the man's gone. Interesting. Marcia! Sorry, I'm late. Did you see anyone rush outside? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, everyone. As a result of today's weirdness, I'm closing up for the day. <laughs> uh, yeah, get out of here, all you twins and quadruplets and quintuplets or whatever you are. What a creepy... Oh, man's there. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <gasps> What's wrong, Marcia? That that couldn't have been. You know, I was thinking about that earlier. It looks kind of like Marcia, so maybe that's like the brother or something. That, I, I, I don't remember the rest of the story, but that's just kinda what I'm thinking. Hey, Marcia, what's wrong? Marcia, what's wrong with her? Oh, well. Listen, we did what we came here for. Let's get out of here. I'll give Ernest a call. You do what you want. What are you gonna do? Oh, I'm just gonna head on home. I'm tired, so I'm gonna go home. Okay, see you tomorrow. What an interesting situation that was. Gazelle, how long is it going to be before you can finally get yourself out of bed? Get up, you have to go to work. Okay, well, no, no like prompt for what's going to happen today, so this next day is going to be a complete mystery. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, that was a very, very entertaining episode, pretty long actually. A lot of stuff happened, we had a murder at the beginning, uh, we had a crime syndicate thing at the end, and then some tournament action in between. Good stuff. Good stuff all around. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.